Angry Guy here, and today we're discussing why men don't respect men who date low-value women. Today we're discussing why men don't respect men who date low-value women. We have a video for you, and we're going to just jump right into it. I have one question. Yeah, sure. So the Logan Paul comment you just made, do you, like, from a guy's perspective, do you think his value goes down for being with a girl like that? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I, and it sucks because uh, we talked about this with Will Smith. I think, like, for a man, like, you know, giving your girl, giving a woman your last name is, like, a privilege. Mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of guys don't understand that their last name a lot of times carries value. And I don't think Logan Paul understands that. And he gave it to a woman that didn't deserve it. And in return, she's tarnishing his image. Because, like, no, if you get involved with a girl that has a promiscuous past, right, and other men find out about it, they're never going to let you live it down. They're going to make fun of you and roast you, etc. And they're going to make fun of you even more so when you're famous. Because it's like, dude, you should have known better. What are you doing? You have the opportunity yeah. to get other women. Why are you with this chick? So, um, so yeah. And you got, we're seeing it in the most vicious way, obviously, with Dale, Dylan Dennis because they have this boxing promo or whatever. But yeah, I mean, this happens all the time, whether you're in high school and people ridicule you for being with a girl that's, you know, hooked up with some football player or in college, you know, wifing up some girl that's a sorority, 304. Um, men have always kind of shit on each other for taking women seriously that don't necessarily deserve that position. And I would argue even more so, uh, women lose respect for you too. Like girls make fun of, girls make fun of 304s more than men do. Because mm -hmm. like, well, girls, y'all slut shame even more because you guys don't get... A, a dude, you'll lose your job. You'll get canceled for saying that. But like a girl, you can easily be like, you fucking 304, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So, What what do y'all consider a 304? Like, <coughs> is, it, is it the way she dressed? Is it because she's like... You take it fresh. What, what, is, what is it? So, uh... Because I think that man, like, okay, so what if she was a good girl and then she got cheated on with somebody like that? Mm -hmm. So, it's just like, it's kind of contradicting. So, I would just say... You ever looked in the mirror? Of course. Okay. I do every day. Awesome. Not, I'm, I'm not going to go there. The point is that like... You, a, know, a, a, gotcha, a, you can't go there. You don't know me. I know. I'm just kidding. A 304, right, is none other than a woman that's kind of like in the scene. Her actions kind of lead to like promiscuity. And it's more like she doesn't care about the, I want to say, consequences of her, of her actions. So ultimately, it's one that wants to have fun, no care in the world. And at least to like love sex. That's what I would say. Love sex? A lot of sex. Okay. With random people. Okay. I agree. Um, I just think that sometimes a lot of women, they may be looked at as hoes, but they don't even be having sex. Well, true. when you dress like them, you're going to... People make assumptions. There's a reason stereotypes exist. Um, general assumptions aren't necessarily a bad thing. I feel like people only don't like general assumptions that people make when it goes... Um, when like it doesn't benefit them, but if you're dressing uh, promiscuous, people are going to think you're promiscuous. If you don't want people to think you're promiscuous, just cover up. Oh shit! Perfect. Yeah. That's true. That's like we live in Dubai or something now. <laughs> you know what's messed up? So the girl who was speaking, that young girl who was speaking, she's actually 19 years old and she's married already. 19, got married, avoided the streets. All right. And that's why she has that perspective. So she's living like a traditional woman. She went, she found her man, she married her man. That's the end of it. And if you notice, compared to all the other 304s, she's covered up. She's no 304. And what did she say? All right. She said that basically people are going to treat you based on the way you look. So if you're out there with everything hanging out, showing off everything, then people are going to treat you that way, right? If you don't want that, then you need to have more self-respect and decency. This immediately, this woman immediately starts talking about, oh, I didn't know this was Dubai. I didn't know you have to put on a burqa and all this other nonsense. Like, guys, I was watching a video on YouTube where a girl, she was wearing, like, this little top, right? She was there act, pretending to be, like, a traditional woman and, like, all kinds of nonsense, but then look at how she was dressed. Like, she almost had nothing on on top. Like, I mean, it was so little that, man, girls at the beach, are, a lot of girls at the beach are more covered up than her. And she was literally, like, heading out to the club. 
And it's crazy because guys were in the chat basically saying, oh, what, you want a woman who's you want a woman who's wearing like a burqa and covered, you know, covered up in a hijab. And it was like, what? They were attacking anyone who was pointing this out. Like on one hand, she's trying to act like she's traditional, but look at her, look at the way she's dressed. And it's not like you have to, it's not like you have to dress like, you know, like, like, like you're, you're in the Middle East, but you have to have some self-respect. You can dress sexy. You can dress well. You can dress, you can dress, you, you don't have to wear, you know, even like a long skirt, but like guys, like you, like, look at the way that you have a lot of these women dressing today versus the way women dressed even, you know, 50 years ago. I mean, think about it. Like, literally, we have the mini skirt, and this, and the way they dress today is like, it puts them, like, the mini skirt looks modest today. Like, you go back decades ago, 50 years ago, and the way grandma used to dress, you know, which, 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 by the way, I think was really much more attractive and much more appealing compared to this. It's like, you know, what we have today looks literally downright trashy. And these ladies, these women, they want to say, well, I could do whatever I want to do and you should like it because I'm not even doing it. Just, I'm not doing it for the guys. I'm doing it for me because it makes me feel good. But then when guys don't respect you, like, you know, and guys don't want to, they don't want you to be your, they don't want you to be their girlfriend or their wives. And they don't want to date you. Suddenly, you know, you know, you're you're lashing out and you're pissed off with all guys. But then, what do you expect if you carry yourself a certain way? You're going to be treated that way. And like when you you know you look at traditional women, this girl's 19 years old. She has no sympathy for these women. A lot of these women are like 10 years older than she is. You know, some of these women are 10 years older than she is, and they're still out here acting the fool, acting the fool, and out in the streets. And they think they can do whatever they want to, and there's there are no consequences for it. That's a downright joke. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Assumptions aren't necessarily a bad thing. I feel like people only don't like general assumptions that people make when it goes um when like it doesn't benefit line. them. But if you're dressing uh promiscuous, people are going to think you're promiscuous. If you don't want people to think you're promiscuous, just cover up. Oh shit. Perfect. Yeah. That's true. That's like we live in Dubai or something now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a dress how I want to dress. I don't give a fuck. Well, in America, yeah. you can do whatever you want in America. And, I mean, and it's up to you. You can dress and how you want. I will still go home and lay down and not have no sex. But if you can't be upset that people assume you're a hoe. Right. You because can't. that's inevitable that's consequences. So if you don't care that what people think, then sure, dress that way. But you can't, you can't wear it and complain. You can't do both. That's true. And then. I think the other important factor is that women tend to forget that men are the ones that give out relationships. Mm -hmm. So if you don't act in a certain way, guys just aren't going to give you a relationship or take you seriously. I mean, they'll never say that. They'll never say, oh, you know, I never committed to you because, you know, you kind of dress a little too provocatively when I'm not around. Some guys might, but they'll just be like, uh. I think they're trying to come out about it. Like the truth is that a lot of these women don't realize that men are deeming Western women as recreational use only and that's just like a handful of them because a lot of dudes won't even take the risk anymore but the dudes that are willing to the dudes that will go out there and still mess around with them they are literally like recreational use only if i want a wife i'm going to go overseas and get something from overseas if i want if i want to have a child with a woman i'm going to go overseas and and have a child with a woman overseas if i want to have a girlfriend yeah, it's that bad right now. If I want to have a girlfriend, I'm going to go overseas and I will have my girlfriend overseas. I will have my wifey overseas. All right. And the women I'm messing around with in the U.S., that's recreational use only. I would never even take I would never even let my mother meet them. All right. My mother. I'm not even. These, let me tell you all right now. These late these women don't understand. These men won't even bring them back to their place. They don't even want them to know where they live. All right. The guys that are going out, messing around with these women, they're not even giving them their real name. They're not even using their real name. These girls are like, oh, what's your name? My name is Blake. My name is Blake. All right? Dude's name is Barry, and he's going by Blake. Like, it's literally like that. All right? 
It's literally like that. You go, you have, you literally have in re, you literally have guys named Pedro going around talking about what's your name? My name, uh, my name is Adam. Really, Adam, you you have an accent. It's Adam. It's Adam. It's Adam. It's Adam. Guys, I'm tell you, men in Western society today are done. They are done. The done done. They aren't messing around. It's literally recreational use only. <laughs> Recreational use only. If they want a woman, they're going to another country. If they want a woman that they're going to be any level of serious with, a woman that they'll even that that just to call their girlfriend, all right, just to call her their girlfriend, they're going to another country, all right. That's literally how it is. And most guys won't even deal with them. Won't even deal with them in Western society today because they're like, you know what? It's too dangerous. And you know what? And I don't want to take any risks. I don't want to take any chances. And on top it off, I'm not attracted. And the thing is, they don't they don't get it. You know, they don't realize that it's not Myron said something interesting, but it goes deeper than that. It goes deeper than men hazing other men because you're out there with a low value woman, because you're a high value man and you're out there with a low value woman. What does that make you? That basically means you have all the money in the world, but you're still a low value dude because you have to be out there getting a woman like this, dude. What does that say about you? You know, what does that say about Logan Paul? Like if you're if you have all this money, you should be out there and you should be with a woman who has value, who has integrity, who has decency. But no, what are what are these guys doing? They're going out there and dating these women who who have who have like high high body counts, and not only do they have high body counts, it's all over social media, and people can go and check it out. And they're like, "Oh, here she is with this guy. Here she is with that guy. Here's her OF. Here's you know, there are her pictures. Oh my goodness, you know, they're all over the place. Like, and this is the guy. This, these are the people that you're marrying." You know, like you're literally marrying, you're marrying adult workers. Like, bro, what does that say? You're worth two hundred million dollars or more, and you're out here with, an, with a, you're out here marrying an adult worker. You know, it, it's it's crazy. Some working, someone working in the adult industry. It's crazy. Why would you do that? Why would you do that to yourself? It's absolutely ridiculous, guys. That's why men don't respect men who date low value women because it says something about you as a man. It also talks about your character and your and your and your ability and how you view yourself, how you value yourself. And 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 much much more. No one wants to be around another man that is that that is married to a 304. That is married to a woman who has a who has a a, a a crazy body count. You know, your boys don't want to be around that. If you're if you're like, oh, they're gonna look at you like, what? What are you? What are you talking about? Men who have value don't want to want to be around you. You're, I mean, like you're gonna look down upon you. You know, and like this whole thing where you have the where you have the SIMPs acting like they're the real men in society. Everybody, no one respects them. Women don't respect them, but they don't care because they can't stop. They cannot stop. They cannot change. Guys like Destiny are disgusting, but they they, they have no. They can't. They can't stop. They can't help themselves because this is what they know. This is their way of survival. Like they really love it. <laughs> they they love it. For... That's why this is. You see these cases happening? They basically saying like, "Fuck what y'all think." We we not Wait, what do going you mean off cases? that no more. I'm confused. What cases are you? Um, referring to? who's the girl you just said? Logan. Nina Agdal. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think Logan is a like is aware of her activities to that degree. I oh, think he knew not... she dated like maybe Leonardo DiCaprio, but I don't think he knew. Oh, that so it she's was like in the closet. That that yeah, it's this bad. Oh, he okay. might have knew a little bit, yeah. but not to the full extent that we see now. Guys, nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. And I want y'all to consider this because I said it many times and a lot of people didn't listen. This is the reality that we live in right now. I said that you have you have a lot of a lot of dudes that are gonna go overseas. You got a lot of a lot of young men gonna go overseas to go find their girlfriend. Like when school lets out, they're gonna say, Dad, I want to go see Sarah. I want to see my little see my girlfriend overseas. And 
their parents are going to have to come up with the money because they don't want them messing around with these 304s in the West. And that's just how it's going to be. All right? They're going to have to take them overseas to go see, see their little Slavic girlfriend because they can't have them messing around with these girls with these girls in the West, destroying the family name. And that's another big, that's another point. You know, you destroy the family name. That's it. That's why it's so important. Like, you know, th this is th this is this is why it's so important to maintain to maintain the family name. Women don't care about their last name. All right. Because they take a man's last name when they get married. The thing is that if they don't take a dude's last name, if they continue to use their family's last name, they'll destroy their family's last name. Look at Riley. Look at what happened with right with, uh, you know, with Riley Reed. She destroyed her family's like like I mean it's here's the thing, her real name is not Riley Reed, but just the fact. But people know who she is. They know what her real name is. Her name her real name is Ashley something or the other. All right, but people who know, know who she is, and it, and let me tell you right now, that's damaged her family's name. Like her father does not want to be seen in public with her. That he will not go out to eat with her. Okay. Her brother, she like at one point she said that you know her, her brother said that he was getting teased at school because she was his sister, and she responded by saying that it's his fault because he shouldn't tell anyone that she's his sister. So now he doesn't speak to her anymore, and her mother doesn't speak to her either, evidently. So she's lost contact with everyone. Her father doesn't want to have anything to do with her. Her father doesn't want to be seen in public with her. Her mother doesn't speak to her. Her brother, who she blamed for. For, for, for admitting that she was his sister, now doesn't want to have anything to do with her at all. All right? And I believe she had a baby with some... She got married to some poor some poor simp, and she's not going to stay with him because that girl is from the streets. And she's, and, and she's still doing... And she still evidently works in the adult industry, but now she's just doing girl on girl, which she thinks... Which she basically feels like is like not cheating, I guess, which is ridiculous. And, and and this and she was actually on Logan Paul and she talked about like you know in her interview how she ate poop, right? Like she literally ate poop. She's she's in her ate her own poop when she's it's ridiculous, all right. And this dude literally gave her like kissed her like they were all simping hard for for Riley Reed, simping hard, hard. You know one of one one of the comedians, the comedian I really like is Bobby Bobby Lee. But even Bobby Lee is a simp. Like Bobby Lee literally referred to an adult, to a woman working in the adult entertainment industry as a high value woman. I think his exact words were refer, we're calling one of these 304s a high value woman. Like that shows you the worth of a lot of these guys when a lot of these men today think that these women are high value women. And Logan is being dragged around right now because of this woman, and he has no shame and no self-respect. But look at what he did. Look at what he did in Japan with the forest, you know? Look at that nonsense. He hasn't changed, you know? Look at what he did regarding that whole thing with Christianity, where he went after the Christians and essentially denounced the Bible and, and you know, came out against, against God and Christianity. This is, I mean, what, what, this guy has no God in him. This guy has no God in him. He has no integrity, no God. So it's no surprise that he would end up doing something like this. No matter how much money he has, doesn't matter if he becomes a billionaire. And you know what? I don't feel bad. I hope she gets her bag off him. I hope she, I don't know. I think he's worth like 200 million now or more. I hope she takes half of that and then some of it because he knows better. He knows better. He knows that he shouldn't be doing this. He knows he shouldn't be messing around with someone like that. But he's out here doing that and trying to live that type of life. So go for it, bro, and get what's coming to you. No one should cry for him. In fact, a lot of people are going to laugh at him. And you know what's funny about it, too? He's Logan is like six something. He, he works out. So this guy's like pretty buff, you know. He's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And let me tell and the funny thing about this is that, like, you know, 50 Cent said it, once a good girl has gone bad, she will never be good again. So she has a high body count, an extraordinarily promiscuous past. And you really think that she's going to stay with him and commit to him? She can't peer bond. 
So while he's out there working and making money and bringing that money back to her so she can live as a soft girl, guess what? She's going to have she's going to have Chad, Tyrone, Pookie, Ray Ray, Quan, Enrique all running through. All running through. All right? And he'll even know about it. He'll know exactly what's going on and he'll keep it to himself until it comes out. And that's how it's going to be. In fact, he might end up like Destiny, sitting there and watching, watching while she's doing it. And he knows he better keep his damn mouth cl- shut while she's while, while she's with her man, with her with her men. All right. He can sit there quietly in the corner, you know, quietly in the corner, fapping. And that's it. But he better not make any noise. He better not raise his voice, all right? Because you could have her manhandle him real quick. That's what Logan is. That's what's really going to end up happening with Logan. And I don't feel sorry for him one bit. What do you guys think about this, guys? Why men don't respect men who date low-value women? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.